Hello everyone, welcome to my Royal Family official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, was reportedly thinking about postponing his next trip to the UK due to security worries, but according to a former royal security specialist, Harry won't be deterred. Though there were rumors that Prince Harry might instead attend via video link or a pre-recorded address, he has decided that he will not be put off traveling to the UK for the Invictus Games celebrations next month. The Duke was tipped to skip the 10-year celebrations due to security concerns. According to a previous source, he was extremely disappointed about his security, so he might stay home in California and participate virtually in the Invictus Games celebrations. However, a former royal security specialist claims that Notion has been discarded. Harry will still visit the UK, according to former head of royal protection Di Davies, who spoke exclusively to the Mirror. He won't be put off, he clarified, pointing out that his chief of protection is clearly well-trained and resembles an ex-surgeon protecting royalty. Furthermore, Harry will still receive the appropriate liaison structure even in the absence of armed protection. He continued by saying that Harry has been shielded while visiting the UK since 2020 and that the RAVEC will continue to make sure the Duke is safe and won't leave him exposed. Davies continued, saying, In other words, you can rest assured they have gone over it as far as it's humanly possible if RAVEC decided through intelligence, and they get the best intelligence there is, after this furor over his protection. They have stood by it, as has the Home Office and the government. It's not personal, and I would use the is it required, and does the intelligence warrant it. Approach as a previous professional. Every time he's been here of late, to see his father or royalty, he's received regal protection. Meghan's infrequent public appearances and the fact that their two children usually stay in the US may be explained by Harry's comments that he worries about his children and his wife when they travel to the UK. Since the two withdrew from their royal responsibilities in 2020, Meghan has visited the UK, although only very infrequently, for example, in 2022 for Queen Elizabeth Hughes' funeral. She did not, however, Return for Harry's lone attendance at King Charles Aya's coronation last year. The Duchess' reluctance to travel to the UK might also be related to her worries about security. Attorney Sir Harry had earlier told the court that he felt singled out and less favourably when the decision was made to reduce the amount of his taxpayer funded personal security. They claimed that the strategy for his protection was unlawful and unfair since it did not conduct a risk analysis and did not adequately take into account the effects of a successful attack on him. Harry told the court that he feels it is not possible to keep them safe in the UK, which means Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet cannot feel at home there. Harry made the following written declaration at a prior hearing on the case. My wife and I were compelled to step back from this job and depart the country in 2020, which was with tremendous regret for both of us. My residence is in the United Kingdom. The UK is vital to the heritage of my children and a place I want them to feel at home, as much as where they live at the time in the United States. If there is no way to keep them secure while they are on UK territory, then that cannot occur. Given my past experiences, I am hesitant to unnecessarily put myself in risk too, and I cannot put my wife in danger in that way. As Prince Harry tries to make amends with his brother Prince William, Meghan Markle is reportedly terrified that he would be made a fool of. Meghan Markle worries that Prince Harry still can't trust his elder brother and that he is being naive in trying to mend his relationship with Prince William and his wife Kate Middleton. As to the statement of a royal specialist, the Duchess of Sussex is terrified that her beloved husband would be made a fool of again. Harry is allegedly excited to patch things up with Catherine, Princess of Wales, and Prince of Wales as he prepares for a trip to the UK next month, especially in light of Kate's recent cancer diagnosis. However, Meghan is reportedly not overly excited about the idea, worrying that Harry would be harmed by the attempt at reconciliation. 
Megan is doubtful of Harry's intention to mend fences with his brother and sister-in-law, according to a royal insider. According to the royal insider who spoke to OK, Megan wouldn't be bothered if she didn't meet William and Kate again and is aware that her kids have no relationship with George, Charlotte or Lewis. The Waleses have made it apparent that they do not want that to happen, although she would have loved for it to. However, she is aware that Harry has a genuine desire to mend the relationship, and the news about Kate has strengthened his resolve to try. However, she believes that Harry is still unable to trust William and is just being foolish. She's afraid William would take advantage of him and make fun of him once more. She fears she's losing control with this issue, even though she knows she makes better decisions than Harry because she doesn't let her emotions get in the way of her judgment. Megan thinks Harry is making a big mistake, but she knows she is up against it when it comes to him trying to work things out between Kate and William. They continued, she is definitely sympathetic to Kate and her situation, but she doesn't think it will make a difference. Next month, Prince Harry will be in the UK for a special service at Street Paul's Cathedral to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. Following abdominal surgery earlier in the year, the Princess of Wales bravely posted a video message last month confirming her prophylactic chemotherapy treatment for an unidentified disease. Harry has apparently been motivated by Kate's health fight to seek a sincere reunion so he can support her and her children, George, 10, Charlotte, 8, and Louis, 5, who are at her side. Harry paid King Charles a quick visit earlier this year after learning of his own cancer diagnosis, but he soon left. Prince Harry and his brother Prince William's chilly relationship may be resolved in part due to family members' poor health, according to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams. He continued, With Cavering and the King's illness, that is an enormous game-changer, even when there are deep family rifts. But according to our informant, Meghan hasn't been able to move on from her old grudges. Even after leaving the royal family more than four years ago, Meghan is still bitter of the difficulties they faced and finds it difficult to forgive the Windsors for that unfulfilled promise of an apology. The insider continued, She wants her, Kate, to make a full recovery and for the family to all be oak but four years on from leaving, and she's still upset by it all and can never fully forgive the royals for what they put her and Harry through and have never apologized. Meghan and Harry have been very public about their struggles as royals ever since they decided to resign from their position in January 2020 and go to California, where they are raising their two children, Archie, who is four, and Lilibet, who is two. One such source is Harry's memoir, Spare, which was released in 2023 and offers frank insights into his experiences as a royal. Harry, who is scheduled to travel to his native country next month, refers to his brother Will in the book as his beloved brother and arch-nemesis, narrating a 2019 physical incident that apparently started because Meghan was called names such as difficult, rude, and abrasive. Additionally, it appears that conflict arose as a result of transatlantic cultural divides, as Meghan and Kate's American and British inclinations frequently clashed. The two royal brothers and their wives, known as the Fab Four, have seen better days. In his memoir, Harry refers to Kate as the sister I've never had and always wanted with affection. However, Harry is no longer close to William and Kate. Meghan, who married Harry in a dreamy ceremony at Street George Chapel in 2018, is said to be worried that trying to patch things up will cause further suffering. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.